Welcome back to another episode of Let's Get Dirty with the Dirt Man. And we are doing dirty stir fry today. This is a really nice recipe. One that I've been doing for many, many years. If you've ever seen me do some cooking demos, you might have seen me actually do this recipe. It's because it's very simple. So this is part two of the recipe of putting all three recipes together. We've got the dirty tomato mozzarella salad. We're gonna have the dirty stir fry and then the pork tenderloin we're gonna put with it and it's gonna be fantastic. So let's do this recipe. I'm gonna show you the ingredients. Let's get started. All right, here's the recipes. They're very simple. We are using the Windmill Creek Extra Virgin Olive Oil. It's one of my all-time favorite olive oils. It's absolutely fantastic. It's out of California. It's my friend Chris company. Really nice. Check them out. So we're going to use the olive oil in a pan with all different kind of vegetables. Your choice. You pick whatever vegetables that you may like. There might be vegetables that I like that you don't like. Put them all together. Put the original Todd's dirt and it's fantastic. So let's get started. All right, let's put this whole bad boy together. Let's put the Windmill Creek olive oil in into the pan. We're going to do two different ones just to give you a whole bunch of ideas because everybody loves different ideas. We're going to put some Todd's dirt inside the pan. Start heating that up a little bit. All right, and this one. This one has got some beautiful red onions, some uh, green and yellow squash. We've got some mushrooms in here. We're going to throw that in. I'm also going to put Oh, put some broccoli in that one. And then this one is going to be more of a pepper one. So we're going to get yellow pepper, red pepper, green pepper. And then we're also going to put some of these stewed tomatoes in. Or excuse me, these aren't stewed tomatoes. These are sun-dried tomatoes. Excuse me. These are, is amazing. This is amazing. Alright, we're going to mix this up really nice. This is a yummy recipe. This is just absolutely fantastic. But I love to mix this one in with uh, like my eggs, my scrambled eggs. It is fantastic. Or like in a nice omelet. Let's put a little bit more of this in. I love squash. Oh yeah. And believe it or not, that's it. There's not much to it. This is such an easy recipe. In about four to five minutes, this recipe will be done. We'll be right back. Okay, these are about done. It's been about, uh, about six, seven minutes. We're gonna plate these now. Now remember with the original dirt, you can put as much or as little of this as you want. It, it really works well. So I didn't really give you a two teaspoons, one teaspoon. Do it to taste. Always do it to your taste. As you can tell, I like to put a lot in there. So let's plate this. Okay, now it's time to try the dirty stir fry. This is such an amazing dish. Uh, I absolutely love it. I can just eat this all by itself. I'm going to do this one with the squash and the broccoli. Man, mm. this brings out the flavors. Of the vegetables and just really brings it out. Man, it's so good. And now we're gonna do it with the peppers and these lovely tomatoes. Oh, my oh. oh. But you wish you were trying this right now. Sorry, just me. I get to enjoy it, but you can make this at home. You're gonna love it. Use this on any side. Remember, try, to, try it in your uh, omelets, really nice. And remember, it's always a good time to get dirty. 